Hi, so in this class today we will study about life why. So we all have been uh, or we all are well uh, aware of this term Wi-Fi which is your wireless fidelity which we are using in our daily lives to access the wireless data services. Now as we are moving towards more data access that means more speeds for accessing the data we have here a new technology which is your Wi-Fi. Now, Wi-Fi here refers to your light fidelity. Wi-Fi, as we have a wireless fidelity, so similarly we have here light fidelity. So, light fidelity here refers to that we are using the visible light communication for our data. Transfer. That's why we have it here as light fidelity. So that means we are using your wireless and RF in present day scenario. So with this technology, we will be using the visible light to transmit and receive the data. So this light fidelity here can be referred as your visible light. communication so that means this is your light based Wi-Fi we will have access points like we have several hotspots and access points for accessing your Wi-Fi similarly we will have access points for access this Wi-Fi so in this technology which is your light fidelity we are using visible light instead of using your radio frequency waves now why visible light communication or why we are using here the visible light. So as we uh, if we just have a look about the present scenarios wireless communication. So present day we have 1.4 million cellular radio masts deployed. We have 1.4 million cellular masks deployed all over to access the services and mo we have more than 5 billion Wi-Fi devices all over approximately this is approximate that we have 5 billion Wi-Fi devices so that means if we have such kind of huge infrastructure for accessing these uh, services so approximately we are or with uh, these infrastructure we are transmitting more than 600 terabytes of data every month 600 terabytes of data every month so that means this is a huge data so from this uh, uh, we can say that this wireless communication here has become a utility like your electricity and water so now these radio waves are scarce that means there is scarcity of these radio waves these are not uh, available abundantly so that means and there is a limited resource the radio frequency here is a limited uh, resource and it is expensive also so due to this limitation of these uh, radio frequency waves one cannot uh, forever cope up with the demands of this increasing wireless data communication so that means we have to find out some another way to meet these requirements so the wireless communication consortium was set up in 2003 by some japan uh, japanese technology technical Companies. Visible light communication consortium was set up in two thousand three by Japanese te technological company. So the companies were uh, here. For proposing this consortium were like your NEC, your Panasonic, and so then the use of this visible light communication was proposed here. So that means to meet up the increasing uh, demands of this uh, increasing wireless data services, we should find out some another way 
or some another medium because out of wave is a, we have scarcity of out of waves moreover there are health issues also related to these and security is also somehow an issue because these rf walls can penetrate uh, the walls rf waves can penetrate the walls so they can be intercepted so that means we should look uh, here into some uh, another aspect of for or alternative to these radio waves in our electromagnetic spectrum. So, in your electromagnetic spectrum here, we have uh, different range of uh, frequencies. Like we had radio waves, which is being used currently. We're using them. They infrared waves then in this uh, spectrum we have the visible light also then your this is your ultra violet rays after your ultra violet rays you have X-rays and your gamma rays. In this electromagnetic spectrum, we have gamma rays. Now, as we know that radio waves is in uh, limited resources, it is currently being used. Now, after that, if we look here towards your infrared, so infrared due to uh, eye safety regulations, they are only supposed to be used for low power. So that means low power then we have ultraviolet rays so these are also dangerous for human bodies after that x-rays also have health issues and gamma rays are also dangerous so these are not hair suitable because they have a threaten but they are dangerous here to human species so what we are left with here is only the visible light to be used so about this visible light here visible light first of all is all around us its wavelength is like from 380 nanometers to 750 nanometers moreover these visible light do not cause any health problems and no interference occurs with your electromagnetic em waves around the uh, the visible light and there is uh, no expensive uh, license necessary no ex expensive patent licenses necessary here so that's what it's uh, visible light makes themselves as a right candidate to be used here to meet these require requirement that's why we are calling that as a, a visible light based communication or a light fatality that means we're using the various light sources around us to transmit and receive the data now after the uh, we will see that how life five will work or how it works what are the implementation requirements for your li-fi system here so first of all the basics that how li-fi works now this can be a as I'm saying that every kind of light source here, here can be used as a transmitter and on the other side we will be using some another mechanism to uh, receive that. So Li-Fi works like implemented uh, using a white light LED bulbs. We're using, uh, we can use your white light LED so, so these can be used at the downlink transmission so what happens we have light so how we will be sending our data now digital data is like 0 and 1 so by the fast variations of current this optical output is varied at extremely high speeds varied at extremely high speed means that what is the operation procedure if led is on you can transmit 1 if led is off you can transmit 0 so that means on here corresponds to your 1 and off here corresponds to your 
zero. So by switching on and off these LEDs, it gives a very good opportunity for transmitting the data. So this is the basic principle that using such light sources in order to transmit and receive the data and how we have like light pulses so on and off to one and zero here now for this life i walking we have three different stages life i connecting life i connected and life i receiving so first of all what we have is your how life i is in your connecting mode that means you're transmitting mode so first of all we have here your Li-Fi, but how it is connect, how Li-Fi is connecting, how we can transmit it. So as we know that it will be working like your Wi-Fi. That means you have some uh, modems here, but that needs to be connected to the internet service provider. So similarly, uh, similarly, what we have here, we will have the data from our internet from our ISP provider. Then we will have some streaming content. Then we will be using some modulation techniques and then some light source. Then transmitting the data, receiving at another side, demodulating and providing to the user. So that means if I draw just a simple scenario here, you will have the data. Then you will be using some modulation techniques here. So basically, the modulation techniques which are used here is like your pulse position modulation or your FSK. Pulse position modulation or your FSK. After that, that modulated stream is sent to your light source, and then from the light source, it will be at the receiving end received by some CMOS sensors or photoelectric diode here after that the data will be demodulated and original data will be transmitted so this is the basic principle here now we will see that how the various components here in the systems will be organized here so you have internet because we are using this technology as a medium to transmit the data at the speed of light. And we want to harness such kind of sources which are not um, dangerous to human beings. So it goes like this. Now, after that, what you will have here is an LED after LED that means you have uh, for example LED lamp here LED lamp here so which is just like as your light is being transmitted so at the receiving end what you have is a photo so this is basically we can say that at the receiving side we have a receiver dongle. So data here received at the uh, photo detector or we can say that a photo diode here. So that means here you. You will have here the received application data. After the received application data, it is forwarded here, like for your uh, demodulation. So, this is basically amplification and processing here. Amplification. plus processing here and after that it is transmitted here to the another device like data is transmitted from some other normal device 
so here we first of all we need connectivity from the isp from your internet service provider the first thing is you require, require that connectivity here after that from internet what you have is your streaming content then we have here the modulation techniques as i told pulse position modulation and fsk are being used here then the data is sent here to the lamp device this is your light source so this light source here is acting as a sender so every kind of light source act as a sender here so for example we have an led lamp here so lamp driver directs the led to communicate it will be in the light pulses this device here so at the other end what we have we have here the photo detector this is my first element transmitting and this is my receiving element so this receiving element is receiving that means you have the received application data then you have here the amplification and processing of the data and then the data is transmitted here to some another device like your normal data so what happens here is that the frequency changes which are very fast on and off on and off these frequency changes here are very fast so these are not basically visible to human eye so this is what happening at the connectivity side connectivity from the internet service provider streaming content modulated transmitted through your light source uh, that will be received here at uh, the photo detector and then amplification and processing takes place where it is then uh, transmitted to the device like a normal device like we are accessing so we uh, like a system so that data will be delivered here like that is delivered to us using the wi-fi services here so after that uh, li-fi connecting mode what we have next is your Li-Fi next step here, which is your Li-Fi connected. That means what happens in between. Next is your connected mode. Li-Fi connected. So that means LED transmitting the data. How this is your LED light source. So that means here it is. transmitting and this is my receiving device so here what we have these are my pulses on off on off that will be here transmitted to the user so that means on and off takes place here on and off takes place here so turning a color on transmit one and turning a color off transmit so is zero so parallel transmissions can take place here. so this happens when it is in connected mode this is the operation there on and on of which is 0 1 0 so parallel transmission can take place here with multiple colors and these are invisible and harmless to human eye so after your li-fi connected mode you have the third one which is your li-fi receiving mode the third one which we have here is your li-fi receiving so that means at receiver uh, you need some other devices also like for example at the transmitting side you had uh, like led bulbs any kind of such devices so at receivers you have like cmos sensors or more precisely uh, which will be used uh, like your photo diodes or your photo detectors here so for example you have an avalanche photo diode receiver you can have here so when we have to transmit the data to the user at the receiving side so that means from the uh, light pulses it needs to be converted into that format so photo diode sends the signal to that receiver dongle for example it will be received here with some receiver so with this receiver photo diode receiver then it will be sent for the amplification and your processing so the device that means after that it is sent to the dongle here so the dongle will be 
so Dongle sends the processed data to the device like your normal data, not like pulses, like your normal data. So this is the inner infrastructure that what devices you need here your led bulbs and then your transmission taking place then you have receive a photodiode then dongle uh, photodiode sends the uh, data to the dongle for processing and then dongle sends the processed data to the other device like normal data so this is how your lifi operation take place now there are certain advantages of the system also first advantage here is that First advantage here is that the data will be transmitted at the speed of flight. That means very fast. Then we have lower maintenance cost as compared to our cellular deployments here. In the system, we will have complex encryption techniques. Security will be more as compared to the radio waves. Now with Li-Fi, you will have instant connectivity. Low latency will be there and low corrupt data will be there. So overall, we have number of advantages that speed is increased, security is increased, latency is low and security is more. Now, at the device side, for example, if you're using like phosphorus LEDs, so they can achieve up to 40 Mbps. If you're using phosphorus LEDs, so they can achieve the speed up to 40 Mbps and if you're using RGB LED so they can provide speed up to 100 Mbps and then we have resonant cavity LEDs which can provide up to 500 Mbps resonant cavity LEDs which provide up to 500 Mbps. So, there are certain advantages of the uh, system here also that will be provided by your Li-Fi system. Now, if you compare it with another technologies in aspect of speed, so Bluetooth is like up to 3 Mbps, Wi-Fi 150 Mbps, your Thunderbolt up to 20 Gbps. So, Li-Fi here is able to provide greater than 10 Gbps if you talk about the speed here. So, that's how this technology will be a better way to transmit your data, safe, secure, and increased speed. Now, there are some potential applications. And now, the basic application is that it will be used here for higher transmission, higher data transmission. But another application is that it which includes like your traffic lights here so traffic lights can communicate to the car because cars also have a led based headlights so and cars two cars will also have led based headlights so they can also communicate with each other so that means when they can communicate each other it will lead to accident avoidance so that will be a very good application for your safe transportation system after that safe environment visible light is more safe so it can be used where rf cannot be used like your air airplanes or petrochemicals plants etc safe environments it can be used in safe environment after that it has applicability like public internet hotspots public internet hotspots so as we have million of street lamps deployed around the world so each of these street lamps can act as an access point for the users after that on ocean beds how it can be used on your ocean beds so in ocean beds where wi-fi completely fails like for your underwater these li-fi can be used here this can be used here in your hospital and healthcare because it is safe to use. So there are many applications here of your Li-Fi which can just revolutionize mankind that as it can provide very higher speeds and a safe environment. So this is all for Li-Fi which is your light fidelity technology. Thank you so, so much.